Hello and welcome back. This is part 2 of Seasonal Racing with the AMG C65 Mercedes-Benz. As mentioned in the previous video, this is a rally race. I do not use the normal rally setup. Also, I do not use traction control or stability control. I am interested in trying this out with damage mode though. I think it could be fun. Almost got that right, just had a bit of a collision there. That's why I think trying with damage mode on could make it almost impossible to do this. I love the special effects in this game. Although I'm not running on maximum graphics, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Hit the brakes, hot, 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 and around the corner of our sign. I think I got that right. This car doesn't have much of a top speed. Acceleration is pretty decent as it is all-wheel drive. So grip on all four tires. Yeah, I like this car quite a bit. Now for some drifting. Let's have some fun. So far so good. I'm getting it. I can't imagine the G-forces with this, eh? Yo! Okay, I think I'm getting this. Good, good, good. And around we go. Round, around. Holding together. Remember to subscribe. the finish line. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Right, so let's have a look at first person view. Stand by. First person view is still my favourite. To me it's just so much easier. I don't know why I could never ever get into the third person view for racing. I'm completely inaccurate with it. Whereas first person view, perfectly fine. I guess I'm just used to the physics of it. I don't know, maybe that's the case. I'm also getting quite used to left-hand drive vehicles as well. In my country, we are right-hand drive. And yeah, it is quite a difference. Swapping between the two is never easy, especially when the ro road rules change. I found seeing the steering wheel counter and cornering and drifting I think that is what makes it easier for me to understand what's happening with the car as well so I guess it's a form of visual aid so 
So guys, if you have a steering wheel with a gear lever, handbrake and pedals, let me know in the comments what that's like. Is it accurate? Is it more fun? Do you still get ones with force feedback? I'm curious. Let me know. Or do you use a keyboard or a controller? I personally am using a controller at the moment. Taking a shortcut there. A lot of concentration is needed when drifting. But I quite enjoy it, especially when I'm doing a rally. It's quite fun to do. This brings a whole new meaning to flying cars. I wish this car would make up its mind. Is it a submarine or a flying car? So what is your favorite rally car enforcer? And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching today and hope to see you soon.